You ready to fight? You ready. All right, so here he is, the reigning defending champion. He won his last fight by TKO, and he says he thinks he can do the same here tonight. He's not putting any added pressure on himself to get the finish necessarily, but he and his corner have seen some holes on film that they believe they can exploit. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou, and you know they still have a club out of the Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Oh, he gets out. He was able to get his momentum going back towards his opponent in the back in the opposite direction to get his hips back and his chest down towards him. Back. And you, you just spilled your popcorn all over I the broadcast table. Did, John. You know I love popcorn. <laughs> Oh, looks like he's got the arm isolated. He's got it isolated, going towards the finish. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Well, he's on his back now, going for the rear naked choke. We'll see if he can get under the chin. <laughs> oh, what a way to escape. Look at him shove the elbow up, John. Break the lock and get back to his back to defend that rear naked choke. Triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. Oh, gives up on the submission now. We'll see where he goes from here. Well, no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand back up. Right on the button. Oh, nice double leg, yes. <laughs> Sarukyan gets back up again. Nicely done. He's got the single collar tie. And he comes through with a big knee. And he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Now he's masked. Oh! oh what a fantastic takedown. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Inside control, you got a ton of options. He goes knees on belly. Oh, nice. Hey, scramble, get up! Scramble! Scramble and get up! Just over two minutes, round one. All oh, right to the mouth. Oh, going for the arm bar now. That might be tight. Ooh, looks like it might be locked in. Once he gets you going, he's got so many ways to finish arm bars. So an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, oh my oh, goodness, oh. what a kick! Oh, and again! Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. Oh, nice knees by him. Man, he does not discriminate. He is throwing to all parts of the target tonight. They talk about using all your weapons. Quick entry to get Man, in on a single. Was a great single. Oh, big slam takedown. That was beautiful. On to the mouth. Look at him. He's setting up a choke now. Look at that. He's setting it up. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Under a minute to go in our opening round. Big ground and pound. And he switches to southpaw here yet again. Ooh! Oh, oh, strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but he do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. and now he wants to talk. So that means that his opponent got him good. Right. Quick entry. Quick entry. Quick entry. Quick entry. Quick entry. Rotates ahead outside to a high crotch. Beautiful transition. He's in the mountain. Lands with the ground and pound here. 
And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, that's the end of the round, so the complexion of this one may have changed a little bit. You see the cut above his eyes sustained in that round. One of the best cut men in the business. He'll get in there and try to close it up before it becomes a bigger issue than it already is. All right, so a big knockdown for him courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here, that's it. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. This man going for the finish. Well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the face. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go finish. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you at well, He's got hand skills for days. Beautiful combination of punches to the head. Nice punch to the head. And the takedown attempt. But he does not land it. Big power shot there. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Like that! Like that! Man, that is Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is on the wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Put your hands up higher. Come on. All right, so look at that. A cut has been over. Oh. Hurt again. Useless strike there. The hook is clean. Well, there's a swing and a miss. His cardio is really abandoning him at this stage. Could be the beginning of the end here. This is a crazy high pace. Oh, big knee. Oh, that's a huge connection there, DC. He massive, is hurt. Massive hook lands. And his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Circling to his right. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Oh! Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. So a much different approach for him here in the second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Well, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything on, he told us he intended on. to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. Another shot here. Oh, there's the double leg takedown. This is a terrible position. Sao Kyung gets back up again. Another punch to the head. Quick level change. Elbow deep take. What a high impact takedown that was. Oh, great reversal to top position by Sao Kyung. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, he's got him inside of the octagon. He's got his back. He needs to get his hips and lift and Matt return him so that he can start to make a grapple. All right, so another nice strike by him there, and he continues to attack that cut. Pretty sage decision by him to target that area. Now, oh, and a quick... Oh! What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> 
Oh, interesting there as he just decides to let him back up. Trying to kick the leg out. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Straight right hand now just misses. Solid count. His eye is closing up. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. He's got that single collar tie locked in. And they separate. Round three next. All right. All right, there's the horn. What a round it was, DC. And, of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that nearly got his opponent out of there for good. Almost finished the fight, but now he needs to reset, right? Don't rush. Go right. back out into the next round and just try to find that shot again. If he rushes, if he overexerts himself, he will run out of energy and put himself at risk of losing the fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Big strike lands. Now he is trying to chase down that foot. Oh my goodness. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, he's hurt again, bro. Back to his feet. exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times. And one's out. It looks like this fight should be over by now. But his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. See, and you got to admire the fighter IQ, right? Might as well keep landing strikes on a target that you have damaged repeatedly throughout the fight. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not. Oh, what a shot to the body. His opponent crippled, but not out yet. He's trying to keep a good poker face, but he's hurt very, very bad. Just misses with that big right hand. Oh, really? He can't even stand. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Both guys appeared to land there. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Beautiful job staying at range and dictating the fight, landing punches like that. Oh, he just continues to attack that cut around the eye. Gotta think his vision's compromised now. As he should, right? He sees the blood. Changes level. Rotates the left hand. Oh, away from the air. What a massive takedown. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that is... Oh! We take a look back at the replay, and not every day you see a fight end due to a body kick like that. That was a massive body kick, snuck it right under the elbow. Once it landed, you knew the fight was about to be finished. Let's go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, Referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest. 
at three minutes, four seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Dollar Bill. So there he is, and congratulations to the Ant Still UFC undisputed lightweight champion. Man, was he on point tonight. He